also just drilled a hole where the, um, the shower outlet is going to be and lined it with some um, reflective tape. I'm going to have to get underneath and fold that tape back. And in order to um, support the bottom of the uh, shower tray, I produced this piece of wood, which will uh, neatly stick into that gap. Um, I shall glue it later on before I uh, before I finish tonight. But I was a bit concerned about these areas, so I measured this. This is about five millimeters here. So what I decided to do was to use my core cutter to make some little 5mm discs of plywood. And what I did is I used the, the core cutter that I bought for drilling holes for the vents in the plywood, the, the vents down there by the step for the trimmer conduit. And I used that core cutter to cut out these 11 5mm plywood um, discs which I'm going to bond to each one of those. Shower trays crack really easily so I want to make sure that um, it's properly supported and these little uh, these little discs of plywood will bond nicely in there to support the little indentations in the shower. They really should make these shower trays a bit thicker so they don't crack so easily. They've really, you've really got to think about how you support them. So today we put up the, uh, the first of the wall furniture boards. Scribing it in along the edge was um, extremely time consuming. It took me better part of a day to do this. Um, now it's in exactly the right position that I wanted it in. As you can see it's fixed to the bottom using the shower frame and it's fixed to the top using the overhead frame. I've also allowed a gap along the top here into which I can slide the roof boards so that the, uh, the edges are fairly seamless. I've still got to build the, uh, the small unit just here to block that off. And for the rest of the day I'm going to be putting up the next wall, which is going at this end of the shower tray, up to the ceiling. Now I'm going to stick these uh, little 5mm ply discs into each one of these little holes um, with some glue to give extra support for the shower tray.
There. So now what I'm going to do is just turn the shower tray the right way up and put some weight on it. something heavy and put it over the top Should give it sufficient weight until it sets. I'm not going to stick the shower tray in yet, not until uh, I'm happy with uh, all my fittings. I remembered to put a little incline on the uh, shower here so it uh, goes downwards slightly to let any water that gets there drain away. So the shower tray is now in, the drain is in, it's all glued down. It's uh, very firm with no creaking, which is really good. I spent some of the morning uh, putting PVA glue on the plywood walls, ready to accept the sunny clad PVC covering that's going on in a couple of days' time. Looking good. Today, yeah, it looks like it'll fit. Might have to trim it just a little bit, but. Um, Yeah, 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 that'll fit. Good. We are applying sunny clad, 2mm thick PVC plastic to the walls of the shower. And I've uh, just finished covering this wall with Pure Flex 40. And I'm just going to stick on this sheet of sunny clad. I've already done this one.
りじゃんけ Right, well that seems to be stuck in. What I did was clamp a piece of 18mm um, ply to this wall to give me the straight edge that I needed because this, uh, this wall is going to go all the way across here and the piece of ply that I'm using is 18mm thick. So I had a piece of scrap and I just clamped it to the wall so that will hold it in exactly the position I want. Now, so we put in the uh, semi clad on that side, and I've just got a piece of plywood there sprung just to hold it in place, but it fits quite tightly anyway, so that's all good. All I've got to do is uh, stick this one in. This one's been a little bit trickier, um, and it overlaps by a couple of millimeters here. So, what I'm probably going to have to do is stick it in place and then file off the excess before I put the front wall on yeah well the toilet's in um, the loo is sealed slight problem here at the back of the toilet when you sit on the toilet the back pulls away from the the wall and it's not because the toilet's not level or screwed down because it is it's just plastic and there's a lot of flex in it and it pulls away from the wall so I'm going to have to get a little I don't know, piece of trim to go around that to cover it so that when we have a shower water doesn't go down the back the rest of the shower is all sealed in the shower's in as you can see I've still got the roof to do um, but that's, uh, that's going to be a bit later after I've tested for leaks in the unistrut mounting one of the holes is in that little uh, area up there we've got the uh, shower extractor in everything's uh, quite firm this is the wardrobe um, the shower extractor is coming down from the roof of the wardrobe here um, and going down through the floor the reason I put it through the floor is because um, I don't want to go drilling holes in the side of my van. I hate holes in vans. Some are necessary, some are not. And for, what, 15, 20 quid's worth of conduit, um, I'm putting the extractor in down like that in the wardrobe. I'm just putting the pipes in now and they're coming out through here and going out there to where the trim is going to be. Um, both the air vents are in um, and I've also put a little vent in the floor. Now you might think that's a bit strange but I'm going to be bonding a pipe into the top of that and that pipe's going to run all the way up to about there where I'm going to have a T-junction and then all the way up and through the roof and where the cables from the solar come in through the roof they're going to be going down through the pipe and they're going to be looping down and then up again and then coming out to the electricity cupboard which is up here now the reason I'm doing that is because if any water leaks in through the cable gland it's going to drain straight out through the floor having lived in a van for six years leaks are a problem and I want to make sure that wherever I've got holes in the roof of my van that um, I've sealed them to the point where they're not going to leak okay so I've put the base of the wardrobe in I've made cutouts for the, both the pipes there that feed the shower okay and this uh, wardrobe base will be screwed down under here we're having a, a pull out drawer um, a door for the safe which is bolted through the van floor um,
because I don't have a workshop I'm having to use the back part of the van as a workshop uh, and that means that I can't put in place the wall that was going to go here between the bed and the wardrobe this is a, an area about uh, 10 centimeters deep here which was going to contain my electricity control panel all my switches, meters, solar charger, things like that um, and I can't put that in because it actually comes out much further into the van and it will leave me no space to get past to construct the kitchen cabinets which are going to go there because I need a workbench to work on. <laughs> 